Okay, everybody, so we have our smoking Joe amp here that we made a couple days ago. It's still working good. We want to put our name on it. Weber's nice enough to send you some plates. I don't think the brown really looks good on top of the red. And I put enough hours in this. I want to put my own name on it. But I like that they gave you the plate. So I'm going to show you how I do this. It's a really easy, cheap method using crap that you probably already have at home. But first we want to polish that paint off of there. So we'll just do that with a little bit of sandpaper. Okay, so that's done. Um, so now essentially what we want to do on ordinary, everyday paper with a laser, laser printer, we want to print out what we want to put on the badge. And I always just use one sheet and print a bunch of different sizes so I can find what I like size-wise. And I think our biggest one, our biggest one right here, this is going to be a good fit. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to cover this on the piece of paper with ordinary packaging tape. Okay, so we're going to use ordinary packaging tape. This is the clear stuff that you use when you ship your UPS packages. Make sure you, you know, get a nice clean portion of it that doesn't have all your fingerprints on it. And just place it on top. Again, you want to do print this with a laser printer. Laser printer. Laser printer. Okay, in my case, I just use an, I have an Okadata laser printer, so it's what I use. And it looks like I got a grubby fingerprint over there, but that will not quite be on the plate. So everything under that's going to be on the plate is going to be clean. And uh, let's just uh, snip off the excess here. Raise the knife. And my phone keeps dinging. Somebody wants to buy something. So I always like that. And I'm just going to rub that real good and smooth it out. And then I just cut it out with a pair of scissors. So I have my name printed with a laser printer on a piece of ordinary notebook paper underneath a piece of packaging tape. And when we soak this in water, the letters will stay on the tape and the paper will disintegrate or fall into nothing. And I'll peel it off and I'll have a clear label with my name that I can stick onto the plate. And we'll watch that happen in just a little bit. It takes a little while to soak this. Okay, so I've had my decal. I just took some hot tap water and dropped my uh, tape paper into the hot tap water. And it's been in there about 10 minutes. And the paper, it's actually starting to peel away from the tape. That's what we want. I think it's going to need a couple more minutes, but you can see it's really trying to separate here. And uh, eh. if it peels off cleanly without leaving a lot of fuzz, oh yeah, there it goes. It's working good. And if you notice, the name plate, the name is staying on the tape instead of on the paper. So we're doing pretty good. We're going to soak that a little bit longer. Okay, so we've been in the water for about 15 minutes now. Something like that. Let's see how we're coming. And as usual, my phone's going bonkers. There we go. And the paper should just peel off pretty easily. And if you get any like stray paper junk, you can just wipe it off with your fingers. Just give it a good rub down. Should all come off. And we can rinse it again in the water and wipe any extra paper back off of it. 
Got a little bit right there. Not too bad. Got a little bit more of a dip here. Get the last of the paper off of there. Rinse it off my fingers. And the tape, as it's drying, is getting sticky again. That's kind of the neat property of doing it this way. I know it seems a little strange and kind of ghetto to do it this way, but if it didn't work this well, I wouldn't be doing it this way. And I think I've got almost all of the paper off of there. And then once you get the paper off of there, you just take your newly minted label and put it on your workpiece. And then we center it, get it where we want it, which is nice because we got a little bit of play time here. And looks like I dropped that on there like right where I want it in the first place. And essentially we just need to squish all of the air out. And as that as soon as we get the water and the air out of there, it's just gonna stick. And you can use your fingers. Some people like to use a card or a tool or a sponge or whatever. But essentially once all the water squished out, it should adhere really well. Trim the edges with a razor knife and you're good to go. And there's our end result. Um, I did cheat. I did decide I wanted the font a little bit bigger so I reprinted it. But um, that is just laser toner on the back of a piece of packing tape stuck onto a metal plate. And uh, I'd say even at close range that looks alright, huh? Not bad. Alright, so you put the work in on building one of these amps, you get to put your name on it. Thanks for watching.